All right, guys, it's great to be back. Uh, took my family on vacation for a week down in uh, Putacana. We had a really good time. Nice thing about trading is that when you do what we're doing, you could take the days off. You don't have any over positions. You enjoy life. That's what you work for, which is great. Uh, unfortunately, I had to go back and make the money. So it cost me a fortune. And here we are. And here you're looking at a great winner in AC, uh, AR, AR. I see things just took off. You know, you hear me say it and joke around once in a while. One share, one share. Trade one share. Well, sure enough, you got one. If you bought one share of that stock, a hell of a lot better if you bought zero shares. Because this thing has just nonstop has been a great winner for you guys. And uh, it's literally just been on fire. It's really been a great, great, great mover. Um, I mean, unbelievable stock. So anyway, we'll keep a close eye on it. And uh, we're going to see what's going to happen right there. Here we go. Let me just change that slide for you. There you go. All right. But she's doing just phenomenal. I mean, if you came in here at 830 and chased it all the way at 6, I mean, you're cleaning up right now. This is my biggest concern about this stock, that you guys got to be a little careful, though. To me, I think it's a short squeeze uh, from what, the way I'm looking at it on the chart and with the reverse stock splits and all the stuff that's happened to it, you know, it or they got factored in anyway. Um, the stock was like, the stock is on fire. It's doing great, but I would be really, really cautious on it. Um, always think about taking a profit. We're not trying to make $3, $5. Remember, your goal is to make a day's pay, and we'll talk a little bit about that. So anyway, it's a great, what a great way to start on a, thir on, on a Thursday. Remember, this is what we train for. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are hump day. And by the way, you could have chased that stock even like three minutes ago, and you could have got it at 750. Look where it is. Every single one of you guys trade pre-market should have made money on this one. All right. So um, anyway, a couple of stocks that let's go back and talk about what is moving before we go through the watch list. So this one's doing pretty well. I know you guys have been doing a phase two that's just starting now. You did phase one. And remember, guys, the most important thing about being in, in – um, yeah, it's not just about the cyber group room. Hold on, let me just fix my. I don't know why this is having issues right here. Uh, there we go. Got to fix my matrix over there. All right. The, the most important thing, you guys, got always got to remember, it's not about you know being here every day and getting the glories and, and watching the ARCI. You got to be in class. Remember when we do our classes, which are started, it's a new cycle that just started. That's where you're going to learn how to trade and you to learn from mistakes. Remember, we always tell you. Our job is not to teach you how to make money, okay? Our job is to teach you how to stop losing money. The winners take care of themselves. The losers, everyone has the biggest issue with dealing with, and it's, it's the stocks not knowing where to find them, how to jump in, learn from the team, and that's the beauty about it. So make sure you guys are in class, which, by the way, today, reminder too, at 12 o'clock, we're going to have another new open house. Uh, we're going to try to we're gonna have another hundreds of traders coming in. So, guys, always a pleasure you guys be out there and try to help us recruit. And then, and then we'll let them know if they're qualified or not. Because remember, I know everybody wants to trade. doesn't mean you should. Now, a couple of stocks that did make a big move this, uh, this morning, I mean this week. Uh, let's just check on Snap. So, uh, I spelled it wrong. There we go. There we go. Snap. All right. So snap. Um, from what I was told, you guys did pretty on that, uh, pretty good on that one. Let me just fix my little chart right here. That one I have it right here. Fix my time. So that stock uh, was a great, great short thing. Just tanked from twelve forty all the way down to eleven twenty. Looks like she's holding pretty strong. She's been a big, little big uptrend. Uh, in, in the in, in the past beginning of the year, actually. So I know some of us did pretty good on that swing trade. Obviously, the Christmas crash. But, you know, obviously, you could see it was a new IPO. It just came out. Really not a really good performer. Some people thought it was going to do better than that. Obviously, it didn't. The MTP, uh, let's bring that one up here. That one was a great little mover. Now, a lot of you guys remember the stock. We traded this stock not, not too long ago. Stock went from $2 all the way to 12 Big short squeeze because it came right back down to two. Anyway, nice little pop right out of pre-market. You could see it went from 229 all the way to 380. Always, always, always focusing on taking the money. News came out on PCG. I guess uh, Warren Buffett's not really interested in buying it. I mean, it, I guess that was what the big news and all the, all the hype was. But... Uh, I don't know. Stock's still holding pretty strong, so I'm going to keep an eye on that one. I know we have a lot of IPOs coming out. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on that. But also the big, big news today is is a hell of a lot of earnings that are coming out. 
tons of earnings. The two biggest ones that we're going to be need to be focused on is Facebook, which is obviously going to be on my watch list. You can see Facebook made a huge comeback. Um, then, then I heard this thing. They're going to be sued for $5 billion. Uh, they're going to probably get hit with it. Not, uh, not sued. They're going to actually get hit with a fine of $5 billion. And meanwhile, stock's up. So anyway, you know what? Uh, I guess bad news is uh, could be good news. But stock made a really nice comeback, and that is a really, really big positive. Also, Microsoft doing great. You can see that one too. You know, another one. This stock, you know, it, it's just nice to see it. Now, to be up, because I remember trading the stock forever, and I was a big fan of Microsoft for a long time, but it never went anywhere. I always felt the reason why Microsoft didn't go anywhere, I guess because ever since they changed the whole business model like Adobe did, and now they start charging people every month because I guess everyone's hacking Outlook, Excel and stuff they got to pay a subscription i think that worked out for them and also i always felt like maybe you know uh, uh, you know bill gates eventually sold all his stock and uh, as people were buying he was selling <laughs> so you know the ceos were dumping it i don't know whatever it was it's just speculation i'm just guessing on that but didn't go anywhere but now she obviously you know really started picking a nice little momentum even with the christmas crash the stock i mean really 95 to you know right now 131 i'm very happy for microsoft great for america to have a great company like that doing very well so but now listen we're not gonna, i'm only bring up these stocks because you know we're not going to trade them right we, i mean they're there is that they're great indicators for other things. Obviously, remember I told you last week, the big thing that was a, a, a really big concern going into this cycle of earnings announcements is that we know that the uh, the Trump uh, uh, President Trump's tax cuts had a lot to do with you know uh, making these companies a lot of money. A lot of people brought back, they bought, but then there was this big scrutiny that they really just bought back their stock. And uh, but they did they did give a lot of bonuses. You know we saw that. But now that is that ship has gone and sailed. Now let's see if they can be profitable on it. And that's why this cycle of earnings announcements is very very critical to see if this is all uh, uh, just a you know, a hype of a, a, just a jolt of a Red Bull, you know, or this is actually going to be a marathon, you know, and going to be good for the company. So anyway, it looks pretty good. I know there's a lot more coming out uh, today, so we're going to keep a very close eye on it. A couple of stocks, let's just go through them and see what's happening. First of all, I want to start off with the, uh, we know we, we know about the ARCI. I'm just going to go hop back on over there. She's starting to test and hold right there. Just guys, remember, I feel this is going to be a short squeeze. I really, really feel it's a short squeeze. So be really careful with this stock. Um, little, um, very, very nervous on where the stock started from and where it's at right now. But, you know, if you made your money, remember I always tell you, take the money and run. All right. Very, very important with that. Another one, uh, the RWLK trade. Just want to bring that one up here. Today. There we go. All right. So this one also is gapped up pretty nicely. It was a $30 stock. Stock got destroyed. It's up 15%, 152,000 shares. You got a couple of nice little orders out here on the level on, on the matrix. You got 4,000, 4, 2,000. You got some nice orders out there. And some of us, you guys remember this. We traded stock uh, not too long ago, but this stock took a very big hit. And uh, I know it's a fun stock to trade. Enbev. Another one that's moving this morning, we've always traded Enbev, done very, very well with that stock. We know that she can get quite speculative, but she gapped up pretty nicely in pre-market. She went to about 620. She dropped off. She's holding here close around six bucks, uh, which is right around here. One thing that's nice about the stock, a lot of orders at every single price level. Look, you got a 13,000 share seller sitting at 609, which probably explains why you got a little resistance levels right there. So that one looks pretty good too. CNSL another one that's in the watch list right here this one just got literally just waxed uh went from nine dollars all the way down to about six stock uh down 24 percent the stock was a 12 dollar stock the only thing i like about this stock it's kind of testing somewhere around support levels right here you got a 5,000 share buyer out there no real sellers out there so you know let's look for a little bit of a dead cat bounce kind of explains why it kind of hit already this Price of 650 and already went up. But be careful. Very, very um, spread is very big on that one. Last but not least, I don't know if I missed anything, but I'm going to throw this one also on my list the HMI. Uh, HMI also down 
370,000 shares already trading pre-market. It's got a little bit of a better spread. She does got a little bit of a Fausto flag, you can see there, on the pre-market, which gets me a little nervous, which could mean it could probably still go lower. But you got a lot of support levels right around here, around $9, a little bit below. So I would, I would look for that major, major support levels. You know I'm a fan of dead cap bounces. HMI could be one of those uh, big winners right there. Now, listen. Don't cry over spilt milk. Listen, we do this every single day. The ARCI, guys, this is not your typical level one stock anymore. Okay, this ain't for beginners. You got to be a level two or higher to trade the stock. You got to be trading with CTU for at least maybe, you know, three months. But, uh, but listen, you see it every single day. Do you want to see more? Okay, you guys all remember these stocks. GEVO. Um, oh, GEVO. This was another one. Look, a lot of you remember these stocks. Uh, is she going to come up? GEVO. A lot of you remember we traded this stock last year. Ran from 5 all the way to, to 25. Um, AWX. I'm just going to bring them I'm just going I'm bringing it up just kind of remind you guys that you know you rem everybody remembers this one this stock look where it is it was a short squeeze went from $2 all the way to 20 in 2 days it became a great short term swing trade also so there's a lot of them out there I mean I can go on and on and on BPTH I mean I'm just thinking off the top of my head of some of these great winners so don't always look back and like oh I missed this one the day's over I mean this was our best of 2019 it went from seven dollars it ran to 70 you know so just be very patient guys if you miss this one don't worry there's another one tomorrow but um but the great thing about it is you gotta learn before you can earn all right so uh just sit back watch all the other traders and just make sure you're in class all right anything i'm missing mark says the b uh the bpth was was so much fun I, and you know what you kind of forget about it mark right it's like oh woulda coulda should people you know and i get people uh, that that chat to me in facebook oh but why is that 18 dollars i says I don't know why it's at waiting dollars because I haven't traded it when it was at 70. It was the last time I traded it. I don't follow stocks. We trade strictly momentum. That's what day trading is about. Don't confuse us as swing traders and investors. Big, big difference. All right. But it was definitely a lot of a lot of fun. May five dollars shorting on it. I'm happy. Uh, I'm a happy camper. Mark said, well, that's what it's all about. Right. Anyway. Good luck, guys. Happy trading. We'll see you back at 12 o'clock for the afternoon uh, open house meeting uh, that we're going to invite, you know, hundreds of traders. So if you're not going to do anything, always come there and help us uh, help us recruit. That's what it's all about. Help us find some new traders. And remember, not everyone really qualified for it, but uh, but we'll make that judgment call. And then we'll see you. You got class today, and we'll see you back at 2:30. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.